Welcome back. Time to not only have the profile styling here, but also to, well, add some meat to it, make it work. I want to manage my profiles through a profile service. So I will create a new service, a new file first, called profile.service and then .ts, of course, for TypeScript in the dev folder here. And this service, of course, will get exported, profile service. And all this service should do is just manage my profile. So an array of profiles, add a new one, delete one and get my profiles. So in order to do this, I will add a new property, which should be private called profiles. And this should be of type, well, profile array. Of course, add the import to your custom profile class here. And this could be an empty array, but I want to provide one default profile. And now keep in mind, since I only provide a list of city names here, this actually works and is no dummy data. These city names will be looked up in Open Weather Map. So whichever city names I specify here as dummy data will actually work later on and will be looked up. So I will create one single new profile here, the default profile I want to have. And I will give this a name of default profile. And then I will add an array of strings, so of city names in my case. And as you probably saw before, I really like New York and I like London and well, I live in Berlin. So let's add this. Choose your favorite cities here, of course. And this will be the starter kit, so to say. But of course, I want to be able to add new cities or new profiles to this array. In order to add new profiles, I will add a new method called save new profile, which will take the array of cities, which is an string array in the end, as an input. Now I want to give each profile a name and you could let the user assign this, but I will auto generate that name and I will have an incrementing number at the end of my profile name. So profile one, profile two, profile three. The good thing is I can just take the current array length as a number since the first profile is called default profile. If I add a number one, the second profile in this array, I will give this the name profile one and then the next one profile two. So I can just use the length of the array. So I will use or create a new constant profile name, which should just be profile and then the number this profiles length. So the first profile added by the user will be called profile one, which is what I want. Next, I will create a new profile by, well, using the new keyword and creating a new profile by, based on my custom class. And I will pass the profile name as well as, well, the cities array here, which is a string array, which is exactly what my profile class expects here, by the way. I forgot to add this public key here in front of cities. This is important to use the shortcut of not only passing data to the constructor, but also automatically creating fields in this profile class. Should have mentioned that before. Sorry about that. Here's the explanation and also make sure to add the public keyword here before cities. So with that, I can now go back to my pro profile service. And now I want to access my profiles array and push this new profile onto it like that. And that's really all. Now saving is great. In order to also be able to see it, I will add a new method called get profiles, which will just return this profiles array. So that's awesome. Let's see this in action and add this to, well, the rest of our app so that this actually works. Therefore, I will go back in the sidebar component and the template looks fine, but now I want to add a new property to this class, to this component, and I will call it profiles to make this an array of profiles, of course, also add the import at the top here. And this will be uninitialized at the beginning. Next, I want to inject two services. The first one being my profile service I just created, also add the import. And I will also need my 
weather service because I want to reach out to that to fetch data about the city's inner profile later on. So I will also inject the weather service here. Now the injection of the weather service will work because I'm providing it on a root level in the boot.ts file. However, the profile service also needs to be provided. Therefore, I will add the providers metadata here since I will only need it in this component. And I will set the type here to profile service to let Angular to know how to create such a profile service I want to get and check it here. Next, it would be great to get a list of all profiles which are saved upon initialization, which will of course only be the default profile since the rest will get wiped out whenever we restart the app. But in a real application where you would fetch these profiles from a server, you would of course get them all. So in order to implement that, I will use the on init lifecycle hook. So implement the ng on init method here. And I will set this profiles equal to, well, just use my profile service to get profiles. And also add the on init method at the top from angular2 slash core. So with this, I'm getting all my profiles up on app loading. So if I now have a look here, you can already see this dummy profile. Now in order to see this, I will go to my template and replace this dummy code here. I no longer need this placeholder text in the title. So I will use string interpolation to output my profile name. But wait, I do have an array of profiles, right? Not one single profile. In order to use this, I of course have to loop through this array and create such an article here for each element in the array. That's easy to do. I will just use the ng4 loop and then I write hashtag profile and important note here this works as of beta version prior to beta 17 after beta 17 it still works but you should use let instead of hashtag this was changed to clear up some confusion with local variables and references in your templates where you have this hashtag being used to create a reference to this button element here and the hashtag being used in the ng4 loop as well. So you may use hashtag and you should use it if your version is prior to beta 17, but from that on use let instead. But with that being said, I will loop through all my profiles with the ng4 loop here. And now I may access this profile variable here inside this article, of course, since I'm looping through it. So here I will set the title to profile and then profile name. And the cities should also be output. And I can use string interpolation here to access my cities, which is of course an array. And I will use the JavaScript join method to join this array into a single string separated by commas like this. So comma and a space, empty space. So this will transform my array of cities into a long string separated by commas. Now with this, if I have a look at my application, doesn't look too bad, does it? I have my default profile with the cities I specified. I want to make one extra change. If I delete a profile, I now also want to pass this profile, which should be deleted so that I can later on identify the right one. So if this were outputting the profile, next step is of course to allow us to really add our own profiles. This is done by implementing this on save new method here. On save new. And here I will create this cities array I need to pass to my profile service. And I will of course get this array from all the cities I currently have listed here below my search bar, which disappeared because I now have an arrow since I didn't finish my code. But you know what I mean, right? So I need to concatenate all the cities I searched and saved already or yeah, which I got weather data for. 
I can of course get these cities by accessing my Weber service where I store all my Weber items. So by ge getting all my Weber items. And then I want to use the map function. This is a built-in JavaScript function which I can use on an array. And here for each element in this array I want to do something. I want to return just the city property. So the map function here basically allows me to access each element in an array and just get one field of the individual object. And then again, return me an array of these fields instead of an array of Weber items, which I don't need. I just need an array of the cities of these Weber items. And this is how I can do this. Now, PHP Storm complains that it doesn't know this city um, property on this element, but I know it will be there. And I can tell PHP Storm by adding a type declaration, which is always a good pra practice, by the way. So this note will not be a Weber service, it will be a Weber item. And it complained correctly, as I just recognized it should be city name. Whoops. So now this works. City name. And with this, as I just explained, I basically get all the individual cities and add them to one area of cities. Now I may use my profile service and call the save new profile method to add this array of cities. Now if I have a look at my application, search for Berlin again and click save list to profile, you see that a new profile was created with Berlin as a city. Now, of course, clicking on these profiles, as well as clicking on the axis here, doesn't do anything as of now, but we'll soon get to that. Whew. So that really is the final step of this application. Make these profiles clickable and deletable. And to be honest, that is not that much work. So what I do now, let's start by making them clickable so that if I click on a profile, I load it and automatically search the weather data for all the cities in this profile and output them here where we currently only have Berlin. Of course, I also need to clear the existing weather items here as I don't want to append them, but instead replace this data. So I want to load a new profile and not append it to another. To be able to get rid of the existing data, I need to add a new method to my weather service. And I will call this clear weather items. And here I will simply take my weather items array and splice it. The splice zero will begin at the first element. And since I don't specify an end, it will wipe out the complete array. With this back to the sidebar component where I can manage my profiles or load them. I will add a new click listener to this article. Click on load profile. And of course, past the profile, which should get loaded. I will add a new method in the body of this component on load profile. And of course, this gets such a profile passed into it of type profile, of course, since we're looping through an array of profiles, which all have this type profile here. And the first thing is I will call my weather service clear weather items method. Let's try if this works. So if I search for Berlin, add it and click, it's gone. So this works, good first step. The next step is to fetch the data for all the Bever items in this profile or for all the cities in this profile. To do this, I will simply loop through all these items. through all the cities in this profile. And then for each city, I want to call my weather service, search the weather data for this city, just by accessing it with the current iterator, this single city. And I also want to specify the retry operator, an operator introduced by RxJS, of course, which will just make sure that if for some reason one call should fail because open weather map is currently under too much load or whatever, it will retry to fetch the data for this city. And 
I will then of course subscribe to this observable. So by configuring it that it should be retried upon error, I then subscribe to it to actually send the request. And in the good case or in the case where we get back data, I will use this data and this will be the data for this individual city to create a new weather item. So also import weather item here at the top and pass like well like before I may just copy that from the weather search component to be honest because it is the same code here we're creating exactly the same weather item just not with this data just only use data so create this new weather data weather item here and thereafter use it to well call the add weather item method in the weather service and pass this newly created weather item. So with this, if I save this and go to my app and click here, and then you get the strange behavior. Well, this behavior comes from a little error here in the profile service. My default profile shouldn't have one string with comma separated cities, but instead have multiple strings, one for each city. So, so now if I save this and try this again, this looks much better and I get the weather data for these three cities. Cool thing in my opinion. Last step, make profiles deletable. That of course isn't difficult at all. I'll just implement the onDelete profile method I'm calling when clicking on the X. And here I will get my event as well as my profile and I will then first stop the propagation of this event to make sure that it doesn't bubble up and of course I will call my profile service and here the delete profile method. However this method past the profile hasn't been created yet so I will do that. In the profile service I'll add this final method delete profile which expects to get a profile as we already passed it into it in the sidebar and here of course I will access my profiles array and here I will call the splice method splice from the position of this profile index of profile and then just one element to only delete this single profile which should be deleted and we're good so let's try this Okay, this worked. I will create, yeah, I mistyped, but that's okay. I will create a couple of profiles here. So this is the first one and let's create, create another one like this. And now if I delete this one, works great. Now, for example, you could also add a button here to clear this list simply by calling this uh, clear whatever items uh, method we set up in the Weber items or in the Weber service. But for now, I will leave it like this. I have the application I wanted. We are able to search for Weber, save it in new profiles, load our profiles, delete them. And I think, or I hope you really learned a lot about Angular 2 here again, about how to use observables, how to work with data, use services to let several components interact with each other. And yeah, I'm looking forward to all the future videos I'll do on Angular 2 and other stuff as well. Be sure to share your feedback and I will see you in the next videos. Bye.